I'm still waiting for that day, by the way, that we can use witchcraft, because I am promised here that I can cure this disease with witchcraft. Hello everybody and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. I am Twinkly Tanya and today we are starting at Mitten University. Um, actually, I already started in Mitten and um, the recording went wrong, so I will restart this game. But you will see that I have unlocked a few things with my kudosh that you haven't seen before. Um, but let's restart this and let's um, go on this journey together. Because Mitten is the one that you wanted me to do after fluttering. So, Mitte University. The Vice-Chancellor of Mitte University has been impressed with our progress and we've been invited to establish Mitte University Research and Teaching Hospital. This is a great opportunity for us. We can set up a research department and develop some new tech. We'll only be able to recruit student doctors and nurses here, so we'll need to train them up. Which is uh, kind of awesome. Mitten University will provide us with extra funds for each person we train and each research project we complete. Firstly though, we'll need a research license. The Ministry will grant us one if we can demonstrate our technical prowess by establishing a hospital with some upgraded machinery. Alright, so we need to get our hospital level to 3 and upgrade one machine. That doesn't seem so hard. Temperature. Some parts of the county are quite cold or too hot. We'll need to keep people comfortable by ensuring they're warm enough, but also not too warm. If people are too cold or too hot, they can become unhappy and may eventually leave. In cold locations, place radiators around the hospital. In hot locations, we'll need air conditioning. Use the temperature visual visualization mode to identify cold and hot areas of the hospital. Make all of the hospital a comfortable temperature to maximize our thermal comfort rating. Okay, so that we can see over here, as you see, the whole hospital is blue, and it is a really big hospital, by the way. <laughs> um, it should not be blue. It should also not be red. It should be yellow, kind of. Um, but um, yes, we have unlocked our first radiator, and this is the first hospital in which we will actually have to use one. Uh, let's first, st first start with a reception room rather than a desk which I did before um, well that's quite big <laughs> um, okay let's do it no no I don't want that I don't want that <laughs> okay let's get rid of it uh, also the hatch if we can can we What's happening? <laughs> I want to get rid of the hatch, please. Okay, maybe I will um, build a new one first. Yes, this seems like a nice size. It doesn't have to be too big. It doesn't have to be too small either. I still want to get rid of that hatch though. Uh, there we go, because I want to put it here at the side so that we can have a computer over here. And also over here and over here. Oh, there's our first patient already. Well, <laughs> let's pause it for a little bit because um, that's not good. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have unlocked some flowers over here. And um, flowers keep receptionists happy, apparently. Increases hospital attractiveness. Uh, these one, Most of them are stolen from patients. <laughs> wow, that is... That's really not good. <laughs> you should not steal flowers from patients. But um, since we have them anyway, let's put them to good use. And let's give them some flowers near the reception desk. There's also some mini filing cabinets that we can put around here and there. Um, so basically, this reception room actually functions like a, a legitimate room, which is super nice. Um, especially now, yeah, well, you, because receptionists, they don't really, um, they don't really leave their spot, right? Except for when they need to, um, be on a break. 
So it is really nice that we can make it a little bit nicer for them. And we can even give them an anatomy model over here. And a chair, although I don't think they will use the chair. They, they Like I said, they never use this, uh, leave, leave the spot. So we don't need a chair, we don't need a coffee maker, I think. But we will make it a little bit nicer by just putting a plant right in the middle there. Um, sure. Okay. I think this is done. Uh, let's hire an assistant then. Oh, wow. I thought we were only able to hire um, students, but maybe that only goes for doctors then. This receptionist is highly qualified. Uh, terribly dull though. Hmm. This one though. Cheese for brains. Well, I mean, you don't really need learning speed because there's only one slot. Um, so I will hire you. Uh, you are a very great assistant, actually. Um, before I will put this to normal speed, I will build a GP's office. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then I want to start building here, I think. Yes. So we can have three rooms next to each other, basically. Uh, let's put the doctor near the window. That looks nice. And let's have... One or two medicine cabinets also. You know what? I should probably put in a radiator first before I forget. Mm, behind. I don't know. I, I would like a plant there actually. Maybe near the door. Why not? And. Oh, a rug, of course. Let's see. And a li 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 nice little chair next to the coffee maker. A clock. I do like my notice board. <laughs> of course I want a plant. So this yucca is new. I didn't have that one. So uh, let's make good use of it. And also I unlocked the anatomy model as you can see. Mm, which actually helps with training speed and it increases the uh, overall attractiveness of the room uh, we already have room prestige 3 which isn't that bad I have the feeling that I forgot something though a bin uh, oh they cannot water the plants now okay so this anatomy model is not in the in the right place um, oh wait I think it's the chair that poses the problem no okay we need to get rid of the plant, I think. Oh no, it works. It works over here. Okay, fine. And done. Okay, what I want to do is actually... Uh, no, <laughs> I don't want to pick up the rug. I want to make a copy of this room immediately. And put it over here. Um, there we go. So... We won't have to bother about long GP queues. Uh, I don't like that this room looks exactly the same though. So I will alter it a little bit, I think. Hmm. Let's see. Can we do this? Yeah, this is possible. Um, you know what? I will just um, put the rug a bit differently like that. I do like that the... Uh, the desk is here because uh, it's again near the window. Mm, but maybe I want to put something else between these medicine cabinets. What else can I put in this room? Um, no. <laughs> Let's see. I need to have this item list. What else can I put there? Maybe a. Um, maybe this one has a sweet dispenser. There we go. That's nice. Okay. Yes. Um, sure. Now, we can open the hospital. And we have to hire our first doctor. So, none of these doctors have any qualifications whatsoever. So, we just need to search for a nice doctor, basically. Charming. Notice the uh, etymology of procrastinate. You can guess how. Hmm, okay. Well, at least she makes people happier. Funny will work for penis. That is actually good. <laughs> He's cheap, positive, eats pasta disgracefully. <laughs> They're all really nice though. Let's have a funny doctor over here. 
And maybe let's let's hire all of them, you know? Um, does it make sense? <laughs> it doesn't seem that way, but um, I actually want to build a training room really fast. Maybe now. Uh, training. Let's have a training room right over here. Like that. And let's have two seats. Or maybe three. Yeah, maybe three. Let's see. Can I put it there now? I can't. <laughs> On two point radio. The mm. band claims the song you just heard was composed in outer Now I can, space, I think. Somewhere around the second moon of Jupiter. Yes. That's the small All right. Um, you probably never radiator. Heard. Very the important. Of course, maybe they just drank too many cans of palpitation. Um, let's see. <laughs> There's, it's it's a small trading room, <laughs> but um, I think that's that's okay. We don't really need a very large one. A bookcase is is nice. Um, also the anatomy model, of course. Now that we can, and let's have some posters around the walls if we can have one here yes there we go oh we need a notice board you know to um to to show all the exams all the upcoming exa exams and maybe um a certificate all right there we go Ooh, we have a lot of mail. Diagnosis decision. One of our patients has been sent to all of our diagnosis rooms, but we're only 55% sure of the diagnosis. All right. Uh, get patient to wait. And also you, also you. Uh, pause the game, though, because they don't want to wait for long, as you can see. Let's uh, build a general diagnosis, then. That seems like the most logical room to build. We also should give them a few benches, probably. <laughs> Uh, they have to stand the entire time. That is not nice. There we go. Uh, well, maybe a normal plant. <laughs> it's nice to have some variation, right? Ooh, maybe I want to have my radiator right in a corner there. And let's have a bin somewhere too. Okay, maybe some medicine cabinets in a diagnosis room. Um, can we have two? Yeah, we can. Well, I like them closer together, actually. Like that. Um, okay, we need a fire extinguisher. Should not forget about that. And, um, well, ah, we can have one in this room as well. <laughs> I don't want all the rooms to look the same, but, um, I think it's nice to have an anatomy model here as well. Can we have a chair somewhere? <laughs> or is there no room for my chair anymore? Uh, that is not good. I need my chair. <laughs> I need it very bad. Okay, what can I maybe put this there? Yes. So maybe now that now I can put the chair here. Yes, indeed I can. Okay, cool. You also have a certificate and let's have some posters as well. Maybe some drawings? Yeah, some drawings from uh, the, ki the, the kid of the, of the nurse. There we go, and an eye test poster. Oops, oh, we cannot actually put one there. Um, ah, we can over here. Cool. There we go, perfect. Now we need a nurse. Hire one. Uh, so, okay, nurses also don't come qualified. Cheese for brains, that's not good. <laughs> Hangry. Uh, litterer. Motivated, though. Okay, sure. We will clean the litter <laughs> with a janitor. Uh, this one allows to upgrade machines, which is actually what we need to do. Uh, this one can repair machine. Ooh, this one. Okay. Charming high energy. Higher, but also probably the one who can capture ghosts. Yes, hire you too. <laughs> Just in case, you know. <laughs> I... Yeah, just in case. Okay, let's start 
by actually training our doctors, I suppose. Uh, general practice, that seems like the, <laughs> the best one to choose um, from the start. Three trainees available. All our doctors. We could actually, and then we could hire another doctor. Um, or we could just add two doctors. Because we also need a treatment doctor, right? Mm, yeah, okay, that other doctor will probably be... Ah, I don't know. Let, let's see what we can hire. Um, let's see, a trainer. Uh, we need a trainer. Okay, you can train. Start training. And let's see if there's any good doctors available. Class clown, short temper. Well, becomes nasty when unhappy, so... <laughs> Basically, we should not make her unhappy then. Green fingers, though. That's good. Maybe we will hire you as well. Let's put you in there as well. So we will train three doctors um, to be our GPs, basically. We need loads of GPs, so... <laughs> okay, now that we have a janitor who can upgrade, let's do that immediately so that we get our research license. Aha! We have discovered Bogwarts, and uh, I'm still waiting for that day, by the way, that we can use witchcraft, because I am promised here that I can cure this disease with witchcraft. Get patient to wait. Don't promise me witchcraft and then not, not don't give it to me. <laughs> that is, uh, that is not good. Okay, we can, um, we can put it here. Let's put the door in the middle. Um... Maybe have it like this for once. And zoom in a little bit. I cannot see anything. <laughs> um, like that. And a nice plant. There we go. Also, of course, a clock and a certificate. Maybe over here. Um, we should not forget the radiator. Ooh, I... No, I, I think I got it. <laughs> I thought I forgot the radiator in the uh, training room, but I think I actually put one in. It is really important. <laughs> um, okay, since this is a pharmacy, though, uh, it makes sense that we have loads of medicine cabinets as well, right? So let's see how many we can fit in. Only two. Mm, well, I could fit in more if I would change the layout of the room, but I'm fine uh, with this, actually. Let's put in a notice board here, maybe. There we go. Okay. Um, sure. There we go. Maybe we can hire another nurse. Cheese for brains. Class clown funny. You're hired. There we go. Okay. Um, and uh, let's continue. Cool. Look at them, waiting for their teacher. <laughs> oh, the teacher is already there. Cool. I, I didn't see her there. <laughs> this looks so incredibly adorable. <laughs> well, um... Yeah, so I, I put three computers here, but um, I only need one receptionist for now. Um, what I do need is... No! We killed our first patient already? Oh no, that's not good at all. Anyway, what I did do is uh, I unlocked the purple benches. Because I love purple. This doesn't look <laughs> centered at all. See? <laughs> Sorry, guys. You'll have to stand up for a little bit. No, no, no. <laughs> there we go. No. <laughs> this doesn't sound good. I don't want our treatments to fill. Well, it is probably because we have crappy doctors and crappy nurses at the moment. So we definitely need to step up our game there. But uh, it will be fine. 
It will be fine, I promise. Okay, also, our patients in the hallway um, are a little bit cold, I guess. There we go. Um, and they are bored and they don't have anything to drink and to eat. So let's change that. Oh, actually, we need to put that a little bit more to the right. So we can fit in the drinks machine. Oh, we got it! Great news! The Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a research license. This will allow any of our hospitals to research new machines, upgrades and more. To kick off a research project, we'll need a research room and a doctor with a research qualification. Diagnosis and treatment of patients can also contribute to research progress. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Harvesting ghosts can also be very enlightening. All right. <laughs> um, well, I guess that is also how it is in real life, I suppose. Um, well, not necessarily the ghosts. We use the bodies for research. <laughs> um, let's give them some literature. There, this looks nice, right? Yeah. Okay, so... What does it cost? To get me a research room. Wow, that's a lot. Good news. Mitten University have awarded us 5,000 for the completion of some training. Cool. That means that our training room is available again. Um, I might actually... Let's see if I can actually afford this. <laughs> uh, wait, where's general practice too? Why don't I have this? Hmm, I guess I need to unlock it. Okay, so we will, we will not um, go for general practice too then. I thought that would be nice as a, uh, as a, another thing. Treatment though, we could, um, we could actually train a nurse and a doctor. So this doctor was our treatment doctor and we could have one of our nurses um, doing treatment and then let's see um, yeah sure let's do that start training okay train a doctor in research oh I also need to train my doctors in that okay so it doesn't really make sense that I oh <laughs> uh, my doctor is cold um, yeah well it's warm over here <laughs> Ooh, look at that. We actually get a helicopter over here. That's nice. Cool. Oh, she uh, the helicopter flew in our um, our tra trainer. Cool. Okay, what do we need? Am I the only one who's freezing? I can't feel my face anymore. Radiators aren't that expensive, are they? <laughs> Thermal comfort of 75% in uh, 180 days. Sure. Uh, we're almost there. Let's see. Where... Where is the... Uh, okay. In the rooms themselves. But if I put in another radiator, it will be too hot, I think. Hmm. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Okay, Your let's see. Please try to be comfortable. <laughs> Diagnosis decision. Um, 86% uh, sure. No. Get patient to wait. That's uh, not enough for me. Mockstar emergency. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't have a psychiatry yet. And I also don't have psychiatrists. So, no. Sorry. <laughs> Cannot treat you right now. Uh, it does look a little bit cold there. Let's see. Um, I want to pa pause the game. Because I think there are more radiators in this game. Uh, different sizes. Uh, oh, okay. Apparently I cannot unlock them. So maybe I will get them as rewards then. So we need to... Uh, we need to do it with this. Oh, we could put one over here. See, so now it's too hot over here though. <laughs> they don't like that either. Uh, let's see. Well, I mean, we could put one here. That is better already. I mean, I, I, I know that my hospital is cold, but I don't want to put 
in radiators at random spots. <laughs> Should I? Um, does it get better then? Yes. Okay. So we will actually do that for now. <laughs> because apparently they just want to be comfortable in, in the whole hospital. Because they are actually walking in this area as well. So we will do it. It's fine. We will get our reward at least. <laughs> uh, which is 10k. And uh, well, we, we made Desmond happy. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> it looks a bit weird. But we will fix it. It's fine. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, we actually need more... Oh, okay. We need to um, we need to get our research going. But we need another diagnosis room, I think. That's what we signed up for. So let's have cardiology right over here. Also, let's turn this, uh, this grid off. This is a bit of a nicer look. Let's have the door right across from the other one. And let's put this thing uh, in the corner, I suppose. There we go. So the patient can kind of look outside the window while they're running. I like that. There we go. Running on a cardiology machine is, <laughs> is bad enough already. It's nice if they can see some trees and stuff. Okay. Let's have some medicine cabinets as well. There we go. Just two, maybe. And, of course, the coffee machine. <laughs> we need the coffee machine. And we need a chair for my nurse. Can I put it here? No. Oh, maybe next to the plants. That's a nice spot, actually. Have a clock as well. A notice board. Uh, well, over here, I suppose. And, um... Well... No, I test... No, I don't want my eye test poster here. Maybe a food poster, though. Maybe two food posters. <laughs> because, um... You need to know which foods to eat and which foods not to eat. If something is wrong with your heart, right? Alright, there we go. Also... The nurse here is uh, quite qualified, as you can see. And uh, yeah, we have prestige level 3, that's fine. There we go. Okay, let's get the game running again. I don't have a nurse. Okay, let's see. I have two nurses though. Oh, but I also have three rooms for, for nurses. Let's see. Inspiring, hangry, has potential. <laughs> Gets excited when receiving a sticker. <laughs> but. 50% more learning speed. So that is actually quite good. Because we need to uh, teach them a lot. Word required. Because we have discovered lazy bones. Skeletal fatigue caused by a lack of calcium in the diet. Upon diagnosis, the patient should be immediately rushed to a ward where they must sleep for several days whilst being fed milk and cookies by a nurse. Uh, wait, so they have to sleep, but in the meantime they are being fed? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Um, the patient is seeking treatment. Okay, uh, we can build that. Get patient to wait. Okay, let's get rid of this thing. Because I will build my ward over here. Uh, also, if we <laughs> get the patient to wait, then we should probably pause the game. Otherwise, they will rage quit. Um, well, I'm debating whether I should... Um, Perhaps put the room right over here instead. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's sell it. Okay. Uh, let's have a door. That's quite important, right? And our nurse station. Um, well... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just over here right near the door and we'll have some screens as well i think actually that this room might need two radiators because it's quite a large room so we can have one over here and well one over here or something let's see if i can still fit a bed in here then nope okay so i will first put the beds there one two three 
four, five. This is good enough for a ward for now. Let's put a radiator here and our coffee maker over here. And of course, let's see if we can fit in some of these. I'm not sure though. This might be difficult actually. <laughs> hmm. Okay, you know what? If I put this one a little bit to the right, then at least this bed can have one. There we go. And of course we need a medicine cabinet over here. Uh, wow. Okay, well we can have one over here. <laughs> right between the patients. Why not? A bin. It is quite a small ward. Hmm. Wow, I cannot even put a plant somewhere. Oh, right in the middle there. <laughs> sure, why not? And maybe over here? No. Oh, wait. Yes, I. it, it was green at some point, I'm sure. Ah, no, that's weird. Okay. Um, let's give them some drawings from their uh, kids. All the drawings and the cards from their friends and family. There we go. And you can have them right over here. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Uh, our nurse is qualified, by the way. <laughs> and of course, we need a clock as well. Although, I would hate a clock <laughs> in the ward, actually. It would drive me crazy if I needed to sleep and uh, there's a clock ticking. But okay, it's uh, it's what we have now. So this is uh, this is looking quite okay. Um, we might need a few more nurses, though. I have three. So Inspiring have and hangry. Five. Sure, why not? There you go. I only have three ah, because two of them are... No, one of them is currently in treatment. Take. Okay. But I'm looking forward to Stop training. Sweet, sweet uh, yeah, well, not now. Sweet, <laughs> I'm busy with training. Okay, probably we need a toilet as well. Right. Uh, let's have a small one, I suppose. Hmm, this is super tiny though, but it's a it's a small hospital wing anyway. It will be fine. Um one, two. Well, we can still have four cubicles, I suppose. Uh, we can have one sink and one hand dryer. There we go. Perfect. Who needs more? Um, yes. No, not another patient. <laughs> I don't want my patients to die. There we go. Perfect. <sighs> Why do my patients die all the time? Okay, you know what? I probably also need a staff room. Um, but also research. Can I? Oh, it's so expensive though. Okay, I will go for a staff room first. Let's have one over here. Um, no, wait. That That is uh, looking a bit weird. I don't want this. Maybe... I don't know how big our research center should be. We can have the staff room a little bit bigger though, because um, we don't need a large waiting room over here. Um, there is so much going on over here, so much space. We can have a news agent here, by the way, if we want to. Okay, um, <laughs> first staff room. Let's have the door right over here. And, uh, oh, I forgot that I unlocked the TV. That is amazing. Okay. Well, in that case, let's give them a nice, nice little area over here. There we go. The TV can be in the corner. Like so. Where's my rug? Over here have a rug as well uh, well now that couch looks a little bit off there we go this is better and well maybe this plant 
over here. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, they can have some books as well. And um, of course they need to drink as well. Maybe maybe just coffee though. I don't often I'm not do sure. this, but here's the weather report. A coffee, sweets. Through the pores of Krakenbush. No, I do want to give them a drink machine. Crows, gathers for the annual feast and over some Flattery. snacks. And finally, there we go. The oh, this looks amazing. To a tide down um, the streets of Grockle Bay. The okay, some lockers would be nice. 17 years. Whoops, <laughs> wrong button. There we go. And we don't have a bin yet, I think. Hmm, maybe over here? Is it possible to squeeze it in? No. Well, we can have one over here. Alright, that looks super amazing, actually. Let's have a notice board as well. Maybe near the coffee machine. That just <laughs> makes so much sense to have one there. Um, they need a clock uh, right over here. You, you need to know when you need, when you have to go back. Um, oh, I forgot about the, uh, the phone also. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, prestige level four, but barely. So can we hang something else? Maybe, maybe a clown poster. <laughs> um, sure. Yeah. There we go. That's a nice room. Ooh, what do you have? You have. This is a new disease. We haven't seen that before. All right. Um, what do we need? A research <laughs> room, basically. <laughs> but I need money. Um, no, not now. Uh, new illness, misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semi-colon. Um, pharmacy is needed. We have one. Okay, I will promote you. I will promote you too. Uh, maybe should, I should not even give you a salary raise. <laughs> but um, ah, I want to. I really want to. This looks really nice. I should probably put some more benches here though. Go. So they don't have to walk uh, too long. Yeah, they're happy with it already. Okay, how attractive is my hospital here? Not super. So let's uh, put some plants here as well. Yeah, that's better. Cool. Okay. Um, wow, it's uh, really not attractive over here either. And also over here. This I will fix <laughs> in a minute. Um, well, not many people are walking here anyway, but um, it would still be nice to have um, a bit of attractiveness there. And some, whoops, some benches for people who are waiting for the ward, I suppose. Maybe one over here. Oh, okay. Cool. How hot is it here? Is this... Oh, I forgot <laughs> to put the radiator in the uh, staff room. Sorry, doctors. Um, oh, I cannot actually fit one <laughs> anymore. Uh, okay, your drawings have to suffer a little bit. I'm very sorry. Okay, let's put one over here as well. In the waiting room. Sure. Okay, let's have a uh, news... Uh, agency over here, I think. Uh, okay, maybe like this. Uh, it's a little bit weird. <laughs> it's too weird. No, they come in there. Um, it's just too weird. I will put it here. Yes, that's better. Okay. There we go. Amazing. Okay, hire another assistant then. Um, these are not super great, but uh, well, it's fine. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> I don't think I can buy... Well, I might have enough uh, money now for my research room. Uh, because I, I think research also costs money. So, um, promote you. Not now. 
Um, okay, a challenge. Melinda Ruck has a request, uh, a request for us. What do you think? I'm not usually one for suggestions, but the other day I had this great idea and I can't stop thinking about it. What if we were like to cure some people? Wouldn't that be cool? Sure, we can cure 10 patients, right? Um, our doctors have discovered a new illness, gray anatomy. <laughs> okay, so that was probably the gray patient I just saw there. Uh, existential despair frequently leads to a loss of color, requires chromotherapy. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need a chromotherapy in order to treat them. Ooh, you need to research chromotherapy. Well, send patient home because I cannot do that in a time that you want to wait. So, uh, we really need that research room now. Um, yeah. 35,000. We have almost 100,000. Uh, it will be fine. Ooh, we can upgrade our drug mixer. Let's do that, actually. Um, but we will build our research room in the next episode. Um, and then we will finally start doing some research and unlock the chromotherapy room and everything. Uh, we, will also, we will also train some more of our staff. And uh, I actually think... This is looking pretty good already. What do you think? <laughs> if you don't want to miss the next episode, then make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and uh, that you uh, turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I put my next episode online. Okay, I will see you in the next one and have a lovely and amazing day.